In this video, we're going to learn how to balance combustion reactions. Here's what a combustion reaction looks like. Maybe we'll get the chance to do that in class. So in a combustion reaction, the reactants are hydrocarbon plus oxygen. So in this picture here, of course, the wood would be the hydrocarbon, and the oxygen would be coming from the atmosphere. Now, you've probably studied combustion reactions before. This would be a hydrocarbon. Remember, hydrocarbon because it has hydrogen and carbon, and then plus oxygen. And they always react to make the same two products. That's carbon dioxide and water. Is this starting to look familiar to you? I know you've seen this um, several times before. So this is just something you have to memorize. And a combustion reaction, especially the ones we'll look at in this class, will always be dealing with a hydrocarbon plus oxygen, and the products will always be carbon dioxide and water. Now, combustion reactions can oftentimes be hard to balance. But what I've discovered, um, if we balance the elements in this order, it won't be um, too bad at all. It'd actually be a nice little trick. Balance carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen. So if you recognize a combustion reaction, balance the elements in this order. Carbon, hydrogen, then oxygen. So let's give this a go. We have three carbons on the left. That means we need to make three carbons on the right. Now let's do hydrogen. We have six hydrogens on the left, so we need to make six here on the right. Now let's balance oxygen last. Let's figure out how many oxygens we have here on the right. We have six oxygens here, and we have three oxygens here. So that's a total of nine oxygens on the right. That means we're going to need nine on the left. So is there a number that we can place here? that when multiplied by 2 will give us 9? Well, kind of. If we use 4.5 um, and we multiply that by 2, well, that will equal 9. So what we actually want to do now um, is rewrite this, but we don't want any halves, um, half numbers here or decimal places here. We want all these coefficients to be whole numbers. So go ahead and multiply each coefficient by 2, and that will make all the coefficients a whole number. So remember, this is an, uh, an implied coefficient of 1. So now it's 2, 9, 6, and 6. Now this reaction is balanced.